Hello mates. Hope you all are doing well. And ready to learn some new things with us. But first of all, please subscribe the channel, if you haven't subscribed it yet, to have some more informative videos in future. So today, our topic of discussion is, Pharmacy Glossary. The terms thrown around a pharmacist, can be head spinning. If you're not familiar with them. Efficacy. OTC. Toxicology. Some of these terms refer to medicine, some to patients, some to instructions from doctors, some to research work, and some to other fields related to pharmacy. It's important for a pharmacist to know the basic terminologies. If you're interested in becoming a pharmacist, there's lots to learn. Whether you're already studying, or just want to see what there is to learn before you look for a pharmacy program. In addition, it is important to have knowledge of this glossary because it allows all medical professionals to understand each other and communicate effectively. When everyone understands what a condition, medicine, or procedure is, they are able to fulfill their roles accordingly. Here's a list of some basic terminologies that you'll need to become familiar with as you pursue a career. Let's begin with letter A. Absorption rate. It is the time taken by a drug to enter the bloodstream after it is administered. Acute. A condition with a fast onset, severe effect, and short course of duration. Admixture. Two or more drugs blended or mixed to create a desired substance or solution. Adverse reaction. An undesired or negative response to a medication or drug-drug interaction. Aqueous. When something is or is to be water-based. Auxiliary label. This is a label placed on prescription packaging that provides supplementary information various warnings, route of administration, etc. Letter B. Biopharmaceutical industry. It is the scientific field focused on studying the molecular, cellular, and genetic principles that play a role in drug development. Biotechnology. The modification of living organisms tailored for specific needs. An example would be, the designing of organisms, for the creation of antibiotics. Brand name. It is a name given to a medication, by the manufacturer, that often becomes, synonymous to its identity, for example, Ritalin. Letter C. Chronic. An illness, that persists for a long period of time, or has frequent recurrence. Clinical trials. A multi-phase process, from drug discovery, through post-marketing surveillance, to test, and monitor the effectiveness, and safety of medications or medical devices, on large groups of people. Letter D. Drugs. Drugs are chemicals, that alter functions of living organism. Drugs are generally given for diagnosis, prevention, control, or cure of disease. Dispensing. To prepare and distribute drugs. Dose or dosage. The specified amount and quantity of the drug to be taken at one time. Drug therapy. The treatment of disease through the use of drugs, also referred to as pharmacotherapy. Letter E. Efficacy. Efficacy is the ability of a drug to produce the desired effect. Extemporaneous compounding. Following a set or written recipe to compound prescription drugs. Letter F. Formula. A pharmacologic substance that is prepared according to formula, chemical structure. Letter G. Generic non-proprietary. A drug name, not protected by a trademark, like aspirin, usually descriptive of, the drug's chemical structure. 
Letter L. Label. It's an informational tag that specifies ingredients, doses, warnings, and potential drug interactions. Letter M. Mail order. Mail order services allow individuals to receive prescriptions conveniently through the mail. Many services also offer telephonic connection with a pharmacist to provide virtual pharmacy support and advice. Managed Care Pharmacy Managed Care Pharmacy involves a number of clinical and drug management services for members who are part of an insurance plan. Because it is important that insurance plans offer high quality care while also balancing the economic needs of all of its members Managed Care Pharmacy also involves cost management and analysis of the member's treatment and care outcomes. Letter O Oath of a Pharmacist This oath is taken by pharmacy students upon graduation. By taking this oath, they voluntarily vow to dedicate themselves to a lifetime of service to others through the profession of pharmacy. Over-the-counter or OTC Medication that doesn't require prescription Letter P Pharmaceutics It's a discipline in the health sciences that is concerned with the design, development, and rational use of medications for the treatment and prevention of disease. For example, pharmaceutical sciences seek to provide answers to what dosage form or drug delivery system should be used? How much of a dose should be administered? How frequently should the dose be administered? How long medication should be taken? Will the medication interact with other drugs? Pharmaceutical care. It's a principle of practice that concentrates on optimizing the patient's health-related quality of life and achieving positive clinical outcomes within economic means. According to the American Pharmaceutical Association or APHA, pharmaceutical care requires 1. A professional relationship must be established and maintained. 2. Patient-specific medical information must be collected, organized, recorded, and maintained. 3. Patient-specific medical information must be evaluated, and a drug therapy plan, developed mutually with the patient. 4. The pharmacist assures that, the patient has all supplies, information, and knowledge necessary to carry out the drug therapy plan. Pharmaceutical Chemistry It's a science dealing with, the composition, and preparation of chemical compounds used in medication and drug therapies. Pharmaceutical sciences of or relating to medications. Pharmaceutical technology. All the technologies involved in the development and use of medications. Prescription. It's an order, usually from a doctor for the preparation and administration of a medicine. Letter R. R&D. R&D stands for Research and Development. In the context of pharmacy, it relates to the research and development of new medicines. Regulatory. Pharmaceutical regulations or medicines regulations have been defined as the combination of legal administrative and technical measures that governments take to ensure the safety, efficacy, and quality of medicines, as well as the relevance and accuracy of product information. Letter S. Side effects. A secondary, typically undesirable effect of a drug or medical treatment. Specialty drugs. High-cost injectable, administered with a needle, infused, prepared with water, to make a liquid, oral or inhaled drugs, that generally require special storage or handling, and close monitoring of the patient's drug therapy. Therapeutic It is concerned with, 
the treatment of disease, and the action of remedial agents. Toxicology The study of the nature, effects and detection of poisons, as well as the treatment of poisoning. Here, we finish learning some basic terminologies, related to pharmacy. We hope that you find this video helpful. For more videos, please subscribe our channel.